Hello guys, I promised it. It is Title Domination. We are back. Um, obviously, if you watched the free transfer madness video, I did say I'm going to round up the first season with Zaragoza. Um, this is the end of the season now. This is my profile at the end of the season. Club penalty is still two. I don't know why that is at the moment. That should have probably gone up because I haven't applied for any other jobs. The youth policy still is 20. Um, players sold 57. Players bought 94 million. Eight cup titles, two leagues, nothing changed this season. It was all about building. Um, let's jump straight in it. As you can see, there, this is the first page of the transfers. Um, these ones here that are brought in on the money I didn't pay for. Like, I didn't buy, paid, we paid for them, but I didn't buy them. When I got the club, V was already here, Velez was already here, and Olaf Olafson was already here. Um, Olafson hasn't really been playing that much. Um, I think I've tried to put the team recently. He hasn't been in the team much. Um, Villa has been in the team a lot, so has Velez. Um, but these have not been my transfers. I wasn't really happy with them because I wouldn't have bought them. Um, Villa has gone to retire this season, which obviously wasn't exactly the best buy for the last manager. So he's helped me out a bit there, waste my money. Um, but yeah, these are all my transfers I brought in. Keris in there, who's a very, very good striker. The rest of these are youth. John Martin is a youth player. I think he's about 17. Same goes for Callum Murphy. Um, Royal Rutten is a regen. He is very, very talented. Um, he has gone on to be a pivotal in my centre midfield positions. Um, I won't talk positions at the moment. I mean, I'm going to show you the formation I've been playing in my starting lineup for this season uh, in a few slides. But yeah, Keith Robinson here. As you can see now, I can, I'm, I've done it differently now so I can show you, I can point things out rather than just like trying to get a look at it but um Keith Robinson here is a very very good player um he's been injured a lot though so I haven't really had a chance to give him full like full like length of time you know what I mean like a few like a full few games like maybe a full month or something because he's just always injured but that's the first page the second page we go into here you can see has Keith Robinson still at the top um Lorenzo Linsen who is very, very, very young. I think he's about 16, but I think it's only like a few things. It's like you can tell. His strength's horrible. But um, these few ones I brought in. Ruben Sampiao, Sampiao someone else I just brought in like towards the end of the season when I needed, needed some people. Um, these are mostly players that are all going to build, though. I mean, they're all really young and they're all going to build towards the future, so there's not really much to say about them. Um... The last page now starts from here. Yeah, Craig Forsyth, who is a uh, Scottish, very, very attacking-minded. I'd say he's. I've tried playing him like midfield with a defensive kind of help defence out, but he's awful. He's kind of play that at all. Um, and as you can see there, Ignacy Miguel from Arsenal got on loan. Didn't have to pay anything for him, like wages-wise. And he's continuing the great defending he was doing at my old club. Uh, he's out of favour at the moment. So is Carlos Fierro. Shockingly, I couldn't afford him like uh, he's, he needs 35 million. These Zaragoza just do not have that kind of money. Um, but yeah, that's the transfers. Not really much to tell you about the transfers. I mean, as a summary, I mean, these are all young players. And I'm not going to see anything out of these for another two seasons, three seasons. So let's move on. And here is the team. I was working with. Um, you can see Forsyth. I moved him out onto the left. Uh, Valencia there. He's got that question mark. I mean exclamation mark because he's not happy at the club. He wants to leave. Um, I won't spell that because I've continued the game and it has been sold. But I'm not going to tell you how much for that is a surprise for the first for the first update for the start of the season of Zaragoza. Um, as you can see, Via and Kerrison in up front. Obviously, Via has now um, retired. Roberto in goal, Lanzaro right back, Paredes left back, Miguel there, he's got he'll be going back. I don't know if I'll be able to loan him out again. Maybe I have to buy him if I have the funds. Pinter, centre back as well. There's about Raul Ruten in the middle. Velez, who I didn't buy, middle. Craig Forsyth, left, who was the uh, Scottish guy. See, he can play centre, but he's far, far better on the wing than he is um, that. But yeah. 4-4-2 attacking just because the depth of a team. Um, Villa can play there. Velez can play there as well. You can play both sides. Kerrison is a down-out striker. Um, Valencia and Lazaro do 
usually were swapping round during the season just because Al's one was maybe not as fit as the other went in defence. Um, that is the squad. 4-4-2 attacking. It's a different to my 4-3-3. I was playing with Arsenal. I did try and play it originally, but they're just... The team at the moment, I've been trying to buy players that will fit into that system, but at the moment I need to stick with 4-4-2 attacking because I don't have the depth of squad to be able to rely on someone. I mean, I have a lot of attacking midfielder right and left. So I was trying to get rid of Arsenal. I don't had that problem with that. Jovino and Chamberlain to some extent. Uh, I can't remember who the guy was called. Um, Lansbury. Lansbury was another guy I was trying to get rid of. But um, yeah, this will be another for a bit while. I mean, I'm not too desperate to change it to a 4-3-3 at the moment. I mean, we have been playing quite well there. Uh, it's just some games we do look a bit lax of daisy, but hopefully I can tighten that down when I get some new um, signings in next season. So, these are the fixtures now that I think are standout fixtures. This one was just after uh, like a first, like first few games in charge, and I think it's a very, very good win. Um, Hercules aren't the best teams, but to say it, this was when I was still playing 4-3-3 as well, so it was really, really nice to see it. Like, I thought it was going to pay off, but, I mean, things change, things change. But, um, as you can see, Helder Postiga was also at the club. He didn't, I don't play him that much. I released him, I think, um, halfway through the season. But, as you can see, Helder Postiga, two goals. Luis Garcia and David Villa, 4-1. Not much to say about that one. Um, I'm trying to put in some now, because I know they're coming up a bit air. Uh, I'm going to be showing you matches, a few matches against Real Madrid, Barca, Seville. I think that's it, like the three clubs that I kind of associate with this league. Um, and you see Barcelona, this was the 1st of February 2015. Kerrison with the goal. We were winning for a majority of the game and Thiago got one. Um, I think it's good. I mean, it shows progress. I mean, this is my first season in charge and we, are pull, we pulled off a draw towards the end of the season with a very, very good Barcelona team. Um, I can't remember who's Barcelona manager on this game at the moment. It's not Pep Guardiola because he's at Real Madrid. Weirdly enough, like I don't know how that one works, but he's at Real Madrid, so I don't know who the manager is. But this, this, I think this shows that the team has got it in them to be beating these teams and getting the results we need. Uh, next, we have this. Unfortunately, it's the eighth of February. It's a bit after that one. I had a lot of players out, and my team was just very, very fatigued. Uh, 3-0, it's not good enough. I mean, as you can see, the squad were in a really, really short period of time and the rest of the game was just... We we weren't exactly kept quiet, but we just couldn't get anything off. Like, the shooting was absolutely abysmal that game and Villa just had an absolute mare. But, I mean, I mean, still, it's a first season. I mean, you're going to lose some games and if you can pick up points against Barcelona but maybe and then lose to these, and it's not exactly a huge loss, like... You'd, I'd rather get something out of them two games than nothing at all. As maybe as little as it is. Um, yeah, there we go. <laughs> and we got uh, Minnie there. Got sent off for 26 minutes. As you can see, as you know, he's from. He was bought him from Sunderland. Sorry, that's new. My mic around. Um, v with a penalty, easy win. I mean, we just caught them, kept them, kept them back, and <laughs> you know. Um, like the possession there, possession they are all over us. But to be honest with you, it was quite an even game. It was backwards and forwards most of the match. Just ended like that. Uh, but yeah, as you can see, February again. So these were all in the short period of time. I've noticed that both both like side of the season, you do tend to play the better teams all at once. Which is quite of annoying because I'd rather have them spread out so I can get a big run, then play them, and another good run, then beat them. But yeah, these things you have to deal with. And here is the league. As you can see, Getafe, 45 points, their uh, 13th. Getafe always seem to win it, so I'm surprised they're down there. Like, when I play this game, they always are near the top. But um, above us, Villarreal are a good team, Malaga are a good team. I don't really rate Athletic or Real or Espanol or Sporting for that, that matter. But as you can see, we are canny points off them, 13 points off 6th. So, still a long, long way to go. Uh, top of the table... Real Madrid with 81 and Barcelona with 80. I mean, no one's, no one's near them. 12 points, 13. 12 and 13 points for Real Madrid to catch up, but... I'm not that fussed, to be honest with you. I mean, it was just the first season, and I think it could be a lot worse, so... You know, I'm just going to take that for what it's worth, and we did well this season. I mean, we're meant to just get a respectable league position. I think that's 
that's sufficient considering the air that I didn't have the players I wanted to get because the previous guy spent the money. Um, but yeah, this came through, Spanish player of the year, David Villa and Kerrison got uh, the second one, which kind of shows the domination of the, the uh, titles I'm getting, uh, the awards I'm getting, sorry. I mean, I think more seasons with Arsenal, we were winning most of these and getting first and second place, so to continue that is really, really good. Obviously, Villa has retired now, Kerrison's still at the club. Hopefully, hopefully you can do a bit of exercise and get get the win. Um, but that's it for now. Um, that was basically the roundup of what happened. The next video I'm gonna have to put up in next week. Um, obviously there's not a lot to play on it to be honest with you. I mean, just the first few games I'll play till the transfer window closes. Uh, but yeah, guys, drop that with you soon. Um, let's hope we can get a good start of the season. Right, thanks for watching, guys. Stay safe. Obviously, guys are out.